Well, the Duluth Art Institute aims to enrich our lives, and they also promote inclusive community participation. One way is through art and youth leadership. Here's a look at the next Touchstone honoree and their BAM program. Jean Birkenstein lived and breathed equality, especially when times were anything but. She was a teacher in the Chicago Public Schools. She would invite rival gang members into her home and teach them art as a way of understanding. Here's one of her few intersections of art and activism. Her son, Robin Washington, says part of his life mission now is to share that message. The word that I use more than anything else is empowerment, particularly of people of color. It fits into the mission of the Duluth Art Institute. It became really clear that a lot of what he got to learn as a youth would be really important for our youth to have access to what's the difference between a protest or a movement or what other ways can you make change in a community. With support from the Duluth Superior Area Community Foundation, they created BAM, which stands for Birkenstein Art Movement. The programming gives middle school age students a chance to dive into the art world and express their feelings surrounded by art. We call this the Lincoln Park Building and it's really a special space. Check out this mural that still hangs here. This represents what they want to see, right? So right down to the simple garbage cans or a bench or a place for the restrooms, the flowers, lighting. It depicts what the students envisioned for Lincoln Park, even presenting to the city council, demonstrating community engagement and voices, which is the essence of Bam and Robin's mom. Just the idea that you can win, that you that you just can't complain about something. One of the artists who guided them along the way, Miri Villiard. We taught them the grid method and then used the grid method to create a piece of artwork that each of them made like a square of it and it made one big image at the end. They worked as a team and created something special, all while learning about each other and finding a deeper understanding with each dip of the paintbrush. I mean, it was a really uh, diverse group of kids too, so there was a little bit of like, you know, kind of like, I don't know, I guess cross-cultural exposure within the group. That's something the DAI and the artists can all be proud of and the next generation can build on with their own voices and vision. And that we've just got such a great history of activists, artists, community-engaged artists who are connected to our region. And BAM continues to evolve and change. The Touchstone celebration is coming up on November 10th at 6.30 right here at WDIO.